What's happening in Hardscapers today? We're cleaning our fluorescents again. Let's get into this. So we're back here on a project cleaning up efflorescence that we've actually had return to this project. So we're gonna be cleaning this with a product that I've never used before and I'm hopeful because I've already gone ahead and clean it. I'll put up before and after pictures of this, but look at this, almost all gone and this was layered with efflorescence. So really happy with the way this turned out and I'll show you this product. This is Effortless by EcoChem, and I'm not in any way affiliated with them, and, uh, but I'm just really happy with the way it turned out, so I wanted to promote this a little bit here. Now, I don't know how this is gonna turn out, how it's gonna dry, so I will maybe do an updated video on this in the future, but so far with the results, I'm really happy. In the past, I've used muriatic acid. This is a soap solution that counteracts efflorescence mildly acidic it's safe on all masonry surfaces when effortless stops foaming the efflorescence is gone there's no rinse option on vertical surfaces but you do need to rinse it on horizontal surfaces let it work for 10 minutes undiluted so straight and repeat as needed so i poured it into this and sprayed it on there and actually i did use a brush and i found that that worked a little bit better because i was applying it quite often uh, probably every five minutes but i probably applied it five times and then i started brushing on the sixth seventh eighth time you can see on these surfaces where i've sprayed there's nothing and there's a little bit there, but that was a thicker, heavier one that I probably need to apply again. But where I've sprayed was a bit milder for the efflorescence and you can see absolutely nothing now. Absolutely nothing. A little bit, as you can see at the bottom here and here, and we probably have a little bit here and here, but those are the heavier parts. Everything else, uh, this was pretty well stained. That's almost all gone. I'm gonna apply again there. And this one was brutal, but it's really come out. So in this case, I'm really happy with the way it's turned out. Uh, this one was pretty bad too. I'm gonna apply again there. Overall, really happy with the way this cleaned because it cleaned much better than the muriatic acid route. And the muriatic acid will actually etch the surface of these. And especially with retaining wall block, we don't want that to happen. So in the case of this soap solution, you can apply it as many times as you want. It's not gonna etch. At least that's, that, that's how I understand it. So we're not worried about how many times we're applying it to get this off. Just apply as much as necessary. So I'll put in some video of me actually applying it, using it, and we'll show that here. It's, uh, it's done its job. It's not doing anything else. So, we'll see if I can get there we go. This, you can apply as many times as you want. When you have acid, you just gotta be careful because uh, it etches the surface, which is good for sealing. We're not sealing this though, we're cleaning. Uh, we've got a couple problem areas randomly dispersed, but especially these corner units. Now with these corner units, they're completely solid. Uh, whereas these other units, they are hollow. But it's especially these corner units which are a big problem. Some corner units are totally fine. Now one thing you should do with cap is you should have a drip edge underneath. So like a score going across. So any water that works its way down and under hits that drip edge and drips down as opposed to rolling through and down the actual block here. Don't see much of a difference. But it is very, very thick efflorescence. It does look like it's dissolving in a bit. You can see it's still foaming. So it's still doing work on it. I just think it's gonna take a lot of applications for this one. Other areas look good. 
but that's because it was such light, light efflorescence. Start scrubbing right away to see if there's anything. But this looks great actually. Yeah, I don't see any other stain. It's awesome. You can see really where it works and then it starts to work. But that was a drip of effluorescence and it immediately foamed at that drip. And that does look like it's gotten down. Especially where I was able to scrub quite a bit. That was a thicker part, but the sides have really gone down. So I'm going to scrub actually. Doesn't say to scrub on it, but it does seem like scrubbing did much better. It's working. It's working pretty good. That's all gone. That's all gone. That's all gone. 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 Pretty good. But I'm, I'm happy with the way most of this is working out. Like this was really bad, especially in the middle, but the sides are pretty much all taken care of. Okay, I'm happy with it. Still got some work to do, a little bit, but for the most part, I'm very happy with it. I hope this video has helped you in some way. If it has, please give this video a like. It really helps me with this channel. And comment below any efflorescence situations that you've been a part of. As a hardscape business owner, it's gonna be a part of these products. Uh, efflorescence is just a byproduct. So we're all gonna have them, but leave yours in the comment section below. Once again, like this video if you found it helpful for whatever reason and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more housekeeping content like this. Thank you so much for watching.